So today I'm going to show you how to pick up stitches um, for toy limbs. So for example, this is a doll I'm making and this arm has been picked up and knitted in the round, which makes the toy completely seamless. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So what you'll need is some double pointed needles. So I have five double pointed needles because I'm going to be picking up the stitches in the shape of a rectangle, um, which has four sides. And my fifth needle will be my working needle. Now I also have a crochet hook and this is very important because you will find it very difficult to pick up the stitches without a crochet hook. Okay, so I've just put a little stitch marker here to tell me where I need to start the round. Um, some patterns will tell you um, where you are to start your round. Um, particularly with this doll pattern, it's important where I start the round because it will affect the orientation of the doll hands here. Okay, so now I'm just going to remove my marker. And then I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm going to insert the hook underneath both legs of the stitch or the V. Okay, and another important thing I forgot to mention is that when we pick up the stitches, um, we always want to pick them up in a clockwise direction. Um, that is very important. So we're just going to take our yarn and we're going to wrap it around the hook and then we're just going to pull the stitch through like so. Now it's up to you. Um, you can either um, place the stitches onto your double pointed needle as you go, but I like to do it at the end when I finish picking up all the stitches for that needle. So again, we go underneath both legs of the stitch or the V we take our working yarn, wrap it around the hook, and then we just draw up a stitch like that. Okay, again, underneath both legs of the V or the stitch, wrap the yarn around and pull the stitch through just like that. Okay, so now I've done picking up the stitches on that side. I only needed to pick up three. So I am just going to place them onto a double pointed needle. Okay, so this is how I do it, but um, you can do it whichever way you feel most comfortable with. Okay, so now we're gonna turn the doll. And we're gonna keep working in a clockwise direction. And we're gonna pick up the stitches along the bottom. So with all of my toy patterns, I usually have a diagram to show exactly where to pick up the stitches. So I'm gonna start from here directly underneath those other stitches and then I'm gonna work across. Okay, so again, we put our hook underneath both legs of the stitch or the V, wrap our yarn around and pull up a stitch. So I'm just going to do that all the way across. So I'm picking them up in a rectangle. So this side is a bit longer. I'll have to pick up eight stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's three underneath both legs. Wrap the yarn around and pull a stitch through. That's four. Five. Six. Making sure I've got an even tension and actually, I only need to pick up seven, sorry. So this is the last one here. Okay, 
Now I'm just going to slip these onto the double pointed needle. There we go. And again, you might not feel comfortable doing it that way. You might prefer to just do it one by one, which is totally fine. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going and picking up those stitches um, in that same way until we get back to the beginning. One thing I do like to do is after I've knitted a couple of rounds, I will reduce the number of needles and I'll just redistribute these stitches over three needles instead of four needles. And that just makes it a little bit quicker to knit. Um, so it is a little bit fiddly at first, um, but once we get the hang of it, it's a really great technique, especially for toys, um, because it just means that there's no seams. So you have a look at the other arm here it's just nicely attached and um, yeah we don't have to worry about any seams or anything like that so I hope you found this helpful and I will put a link in the description um, to where you can find the pattern for my little doll